All right, so let's talk about how to create the perfect lead magnet. So your lead magnet is essentially what you're giving away for free uh, when somebody's opting into your sales funnel. It's a valuable piece of content, information, uh, something that uh, lets your prospect essentially download, you know, get through their email, and then in exchange for their particular email address so you can continue to market to them and they can get down into your sales funnel. So the lead magnet must solve a specific problem for that particular prospect. A good example of this is a particular lead magnet that talks about learn how to accomplish, achieve, or do X, right? So let me give you kind of an example here of the different things that we can use uh, for a lead magnet and how a lead magnet typically looks. So when we go over here, we see that a lead magnet can be a cheat sheet, can be a checklist, swipe file, a recording of a talk that you gave, uh, some sort of training out there, right? Resources that you may have, maybe a buyer's guide, some kind of email course, whatever that may be, right? Something of high value that your prospect wants, they want to learn, they want to learn how to, right? And that you can really position as it being highly, extremely valuable, right? So that all you have to do is position it in a way for them to just simply submit their information, their email, right? Contact information. And then they're going to get this right away. So here's a great example of a lead magnet. Uh, this is for content marketing, for traffic and sales. A very nice picture of the ebook here, right? Uh, and the ebook may just be, you know, 20 pages, right? But it's an ebook that uh, looks to be providing a ton of value here. And it has a learn to create, optimize, and market engaging content in order to build, scale, and grow your business, right? It has that type of headline that really tells uh, the individual what exactly they're going to learn and what they're going to get from this uh, particular lead magnet, right? Ebook. And all they have to do, nice and simple. I love this uh, particular uh, pop up here because it has a section here for them to put in their email address. They don't even need their name, right? Uh, so it's reducing the friction, right? The resistance that that prospect has to go through to submit their information. It's nice, simple, and easy for them. Plus, they have a really nice button here. Send me the training, which is blue. It pops out and it has the call to action there. Send me the training. Oftentimes, you can have that particular button there. And if you don't have the right wording, that can actually decrease your number of conversions, right? Because uh, this is essentially you know, what you want people to be doing. You want them to be following your guidelines, following a process, a system that you have laid out for them uh, so that they can get to the next step of the sales funnel. And this send me the training uh, is just like saying, hey, you know, send me that right away so that I can get that valuable piece of content for free. So highly recommend that when you're putting together a lead magnet, look through all these different uh, types of content pieces you may have. Maybe you can put some together and, uh, you know, kind of repackage it as a lead magnet and, you know, teach people, let's say, for example, with uh, a marketing agency where, let's say you're a consultant or you're some sort of coach that coaches, uh, you know, marketing agencies, you can have a lead magnet that says, learn how to get, you know, three to five appointments a week with this simple system or sales process or templates or whatever that may be, right? But uh, it's about teaching somebody, right, your prospect, a valuable, you know, less than a valuable piece of information for free, and then you getting their information. So that's it for this video here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.